From Egypt's pyramids of Giza to the Sahara Desert in Morocco, Petra and Jordan to the Great Wall of China, nothing says exotic travel more than the timeless camel caravan. Whether camel owners rent their camels for additional income or it's a dedicated entrepreneurial endeavor, camels can generate revenue through tourism as well as provide visitors with an insight into some of the world's richest cultures, something vital to sustainable and responsible tourism. Nomadic peoples across the camel world are legendary for their hospitality, but interested persons don't have to grow up in the desert to get in on the act. Camel-based tourism has taken root in places as seemingly unlikely as Thailand, Scandinavia, continental Europe, the U.S., Mexico, and even Jamaica. Overnight or multi-day trekking may give the visitor the best chance to experience nomadic life, but even simple farm visits, which feature short rides, can still be of value to both the visitor and the camel owner. In addition, value-added services help to create a dynamic business model all based on these animals that have served man for almost 5,000 years. Old caravan routes are ready-made for camel trekking and combine both history and culture. The Sahara is famous for historic gold and salt trade, and camel outfits in Morocco allow guests to relive a part of this history in the majesty of endless dunes, while safaris in the Sinai of Egypt immerse the visitor in legendary Bedouin culture. Regardless of location, traditional camel cultures can take advantage of these visits to share parts of their culture with guests while creating additional income. Sharing what is appropriate of any given culture may vary, but when it comes to travel, tourists always find food, music, and handicrafts intriguing. Short rides and photo ops in less traditional locales allow the guests a taste of the role camels play in cultures from other parts of the world when foreign travel isn't possible. For traditional camel owners, though, short rides on their farm can be one more revenue stream. In addition, photo ops are a low-impact way for camels to bring in some extra money. Added value items such as camel hair textiles, camel milk, and camel milk products sold on site or via the internet can also create revenue for camel owners. In addition, camel-related cultural artifacts can be marketed to guests making unique, one-of-a-kind souvenirs. For native camel cultures, marginalization can make it difficult to create economic opportunities. Perhaps organizing cooperatives for the promotion of the local camel business could be helpful. Lobbying local government to recognize the cultural value of camels, as has been done in India, might also create incentives to develop camel-based tourism. For those who live outside native camel land, simply procuring the camels can be a challenge. And once that's accomplished, there's even more work to do. Be certain to have well-trained camels that are suitable to the work being performed. The camel that can carry a load of cargo, but kicks or bites, is not an appropriate candidate for working in tourism. Be sure to know the difference. Travelers' expectations are admittedly high, and online reviews can spread quickly thanks to social media, so be sure and put your best foot forward from the beginning. But safety alone does not create a winning business setup. All those engaged with the public must have superior customer service skills, adequate foreign language skills, and understand that all visitor instructions should be carefully worded due to most people being unfamiliar with safe practices working around large animals. Is there a historical precedent for camels in the area? Interesting scenery worthy of multi-day trekking? Don't forget customer service skills. Language skills. Ability to interpret the natural history of a given area and the ability to market your camel business. In general, once the camels are in place, 
trained, and staff is ready, you're in business, but the world needs to know you exist. If you happen to be lucky enough to be near a large tourist attraction, simple signs on a main road can direct visitors to your camels. But in this tech-savvy world in which we live, awareness via the internet is the most likely way to bring in visitation. Make sure your web presence is professional, easy to navigate, and constantly maintained. An out-of-date website or social media platform does nothing to build consumer confidence in your camel business. There are myriad opportunities for camel owners in today's market. The long history of the camel's relationship with man provides many avenues from which to choose. Tie in your modern business to ancient camel-related business, especially trekking, can fit seamlessly with the ongoing popularity of adventure travel. Offering handmade souvenirs for guests to take home to remember their trip or give to friends and family also fits the trend for traditional handicrafts. Today's tourist wants to participate, providing a complete experience at the juncture where unique culture and these versatile animals come together can benefit everyone.